Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today we're going to look at a question from Robert Singleton, N5HRK. And here is his question. Does burying coax, either direct or in PVC conduit, contribute significantly to decoupling RF? No. I have a Hustler 6BTV with 30-something radials and about 50 feet of buried coax feeding it. The coax is not directly, is not buried deeply, only about 8 to 10 inches. That's plenty. Uh, it is direct burial rated coax, but I put in a 1.5 inch PVC so that it could be easily changed or other wiring could be added if needed. I have no RF issues that I know of and have taken no other decoupling measures unless you count a lightning arrestor at the shack. But I'm curious if this 50 foot long earthly uh, ferrite is helpful. Um, okay, let's take a look. I'm going to move this thing out so we can see the whole, whole board here. You've got an antenna with radials out here and buried underground uh, about eight inches is 50 feet of coax and that's fine it could be direct burial or it can be uh, in the pipe be aware that that pipe will eventually fill with water uh, but uh, unless you've drilled holes along the bottom of it so that it can drain out um, but it will fill with water I don't care how careful you are you're still going to get water in it um, yeah oh, I've got stories from the Air Force I can tell you <laughs> <laughs> but uh, that is fine. It's a perfectly good way that you've installed it. The only thing I would add, if I were to make a suggestion, would be a um, ground rod at the antenna. Okay. And then bring a ground wire, number six, a bear stranded and it does not have to go in the same uh, coax run as the other but uh, even just out on the top of the ground but buried would be better and bring this over to your ground rod where you've got the lightning arresters and stuff like that over there otherwise I have absolutely no um, other suggestions to improve uh, what you were doing I think you're doing fine. Let me see if I answered your question. Um, yeah, you see, the thing about coax is the um, everything that happens with coax, if it's properly grounded in everything, everything that happens with coax happens inside the coax. So if you were to put ferrites or something like that on it, that would keep any um, current from coming along the outside of the shield. But you've got an unbalanced situation here. You've got unbalanced coax. This is well grounded over here. And this is well grounded over here. There's not going to be any current on the outside of that coax. And if there were anyway, it would get caught by the ground where you do your lightning arrestor over here. Okay, so um, you're doing fine. You've got a great antenna system. Um, and uh, I'm sure that you will uh, have good success with it. So there you have it. If any of you would like to support this channel financially, you certainly can by going to decastlercom support. There are many ways there that you can use. Also, please subscribe, please click like, and all of those good things like that. Share these videos with your friends. And until we next meet, 73. <music>